Yes, I bless I. Oh, them for test I. Yeah, let me come on one for kiss and caress I. To some of them are flex, them cannot impress I. No, y'all come on one for undress I. No, for them are come on one for upset I. Make them know so them can't really stress I. Yes, my people. As Mo Thomas say, what I say, big up on a nice, clean self. Yes, I big up on yourself, my people. Manners and respect. Hold on. Yes, my people. So, I saw the thing set, you know. So, me would have to take a few days break off of the social media, you know, because it so happens that me and Mrs. V, we celebrated our 20th wedding anniversary. Yes, 20 years of being married. Not 20 years together, because we were together before, but 20 years since we got married on Independence Day. Yeah, so, you know, you have all kind of time, you know, you have watch time, clock time, seasoning time, herb time, all kind of time, but the best time, a family time. So, 20 years is like a special occasion, so we decided, you know, I take a break from the phone and social media and just enjoy ourselves and just do a thing. You understand what I say? Yeah, but that's over and done now, so we can move on again. But it was good. Miss V did enjoy herself as well. I did also, and it was good. But that's a 20 years. Don't think it's, gonna, it's, it's like 20 years of everything just cushy and nice. It's 20 years ups and down and trials and tribulations and all kind of something but the beauty of it we're still going and going strong and I look forward to see the next 20 years as I tell Ms. V next 20 years time hopefully we can get one of them mobility scooter the one where the twin one we can carry two people yeah man and me a ride and Miss V at the back in our straw at and thing and the two of you now with sunshade glasses and thing. I ride out on my scooter, I go on my boat, I have some park, go chill out, have a picnic or something. But 20 years go fast, so and next 20 years will come fast. I mean, no, sir, we are going to debout, we see that. Because as we say, we born to live. Yes, so it was good, yeah. But it takes a bit of bustle and bustle and all kind of agreements and disagreements you know but as we say at the end of the day that what that's what makes life happy and make life comfortable as well when he, when everybody can know each other and the more longer you live together and the more you're supposed to know each other where each other like and what each other don't like and all kind of something and you know what we do and we know what we do and that's what make it happen. That's why me can't, me, me can't understand when I see some people there together for all 30, 40 years, some people there, and somebody down the line then can spit up. The time when they must spit up, the time when they should all get closer, cause at least they're used to one another, they know one another, they don't know about, I mean, all kind of problem can come in a people's life and cause certain things to happen, and you just waste all them years just gone down the drain you know because when people separate and split up it's not only two people se separate and split up you know it cause a division in a family as well with kids and relatives and all kind of something but anyway we are living with life if we self yeah so me and miss v we on track and we know what we are doing and we know what we are all about and we know what we are dealing with and trust me it's all good yes when we are talking about no people is the riots. We come in and to me I try my best for not to talk nothing about Jamaica more so you know, because we can't take the Jamaica system and the Jamaica culture. If you talk something positive and constructive about anything in a Jamaica, whether as somebody or something you talk about, there are people who out there who take it for the negative vibes and them can't see the positiveness in a way I say. And the first thing them a jump up, but they say, go suck your mama, go do this, go do that, go do that. Make your hand too bad away, them type of something. So, I try my best to stay away from anything pertaining to do with Jamaica. You understand me? I said, Jamaica, my country, love Jamaica. Now, nah, stop, love it. But 
we just stay far from certain things. There's a lot more things to talk about more than what takes place in Jamaica. Yes. So we're talking about now. From the other day, there's been riots all over England. Yes, people. Riot, riot, riot. We don't see it necessary. We don't see the importance of it. But what caused it? What caused the riot is in a place called Southport, after some dancing class, a young man decided, I don't know what went in his head and what took him, but him decided to use a KNIFE and juke, juke up three infants after dancing class, three, three pitney, and juke up, juke up, left them breathless. Yeah. And the rumors were going around that this young man who did that was from the Muslim community yeah so then say you know nobody never sure about it you know and because of this uproar now all kind of people take to the streets because you know from long time certain people don't like certain people as well so certain people just have wait for certain little things to happen because it's like them with a wait for your opportunity they're not even no proof of anything they were just waiting for the opportunity you go up on them ranting and them all kind of something and I do what them I do, I attack all kind of people and all kind of people and one piece of something I go on and whole heap of care, I get damaged, police I get leaked down, place I get burned down and all them kind of something there and when you take it out and take a start, not no go so not no go so the person who them accused of doing the thing is far different from that person but me I say like how they know and find out say no that person was not of that race or nationality. Top no? No, they not top. Mm -mm. They not top. They might go on with it, said we are everywhere. Everywhere up here, like sitting a broke out, broke out and attack all kind of people and all kind of something. But let me tell you something, yeah, man. You better them top. You better them stop. Whoever I instigate this type of thing for go on. It better than stop because if the truth be told, then now go win, then can't win. If if all certain people decide if you come out and say yeah we are gonna retaliate, then it now go nice. Cause we have to bear in mind, you know, enough people might not know this, you know. But right now, to me look upon it, I would have said more than half the population of English people, more than half the population of people living in England aren't English. It's a mixed it mixed with either Africans or Asian or what is a mix with black or some other race. So if everybody did for this side for retaliate, you can imagine the amount of sitting over that go on. So the government of the country need to deal with it and deal with it fast. Hello Miss V. Miss V as a rise people, Miss V just wake up from her 20th honeymoon, come out on a stretch, she feel good, watch her face bright like I don't know what. Lord of mercy, her face bright like the sunshine. She just bust a big smile and gone in. She love it, she nice. Yeah, so the government need to do something now to kind of get rid of this whole heap of kasa kasa for her going on because if it continue, it might get worse. And if it get worse, I don't think the end result is going to be good. But bear in mind, these things used to take place back in the 60s, early up in the 70s, is there when you used to have this racial thing I go on in England, yeah, where people them say them prefer to see all dog on certain streets and certain places more than see all a person like me still. So I don't know then something I go on and enough man used to turn up and have to fight for themselves like man used to walk with whole heap of ratchet and all kind of something back in the days and it was a big thing that I go on you know so I don't know that something I go on it's, it's just have it a repeat itself for a second time again but as we say things and times have changed because people of those years are different from nowadays people nowadays people them know we they know they know not near fear and care in a them anyway especially when it comes to certain things but they need to tap it it's like some people just slung and end up wait for this happen but then if you attack people then if you go attack parliament and the government who make the decisions them about certain things that them them figure attack 
I know the people them. They might attack all kind of refugees and people of different nationality from different country and then come in and then must say people come here take them work and all kind of stuff. So nobody not take nobody work man. Nobody not take nobody work. Because if the truth be told, if the English population of people them was a working set of people and people who love to work, there would be no work here for nobody. But because the vacancies are there because if it's be told, not for the English people, they're not all, not for them, they're lazy. We don't grow on it. They're lazy, they don't love work. They don't love to work. Not for English people, them. they don't love work. They love work. They love drink beer. They love smoke weed. They love smoke crack. They love smoke all kind of narcotics and all kind of something. And live all kind of life. So therefore, they work. They want to job them always there. And people come in and get the work and then and talk about people take them job. People take what kind of job? Majority of the immigrants that come here, you don't see the type of job they do. You don't know, see? A clean toilet, clean bus station, clean office, cleaning job basically. Yeah? They do um Kira's job. A clean people when they're sick and shit up themselves and can't clean themselves. At them the job they no for the the, the, the majority of the people them will come here and do. Then at them the job they don't have all the people take. They make never do them. If only they do them, nobody will come here and do them. Barber shop and all them kind of something. At them kind of job the most immigrants come in and set up and look at barber shop and I do here and I do car wash and all kind of something. At them the kind of job they don't say people take around. No, no not go so. I lie. Because I notice and I see how the thing go. If you notice the majority of the warehouses and factories and certain places and most of the immigrants around them, because why? We don't know if, in, if English people them not that intelligent more than so, but even when we work, you look there, most of the managers them yesterday there are some young people them from either India, Pakistan, or some about in Africa they come from, and them are the managers them. I say, well, you want to the English people them, not in their country, then oh, they have so much. Majority people from different countries are run things for them. What they don't sense? Then you can't do nothing. You understand what I said? But no, but yet, then decide to come out and fight and war and burn up and burn down and chop up and mash up and do all kind of something. So they must send a message. Send a message to who? To who? If the truth be told, if majority immigrants will live in England right now from either India, Pakistan, Africa, or wherever they come from, decide, say, you know what? We are take what little we have and we are left this country and go back a few country. You can imagine what England would be like? Huh? Anybody can imagine what England would be like? England would be like back in the nineteen twenties. It has gone back to. Yeah. Because a lot of these English people, they are not educated. May I talk to many of us say all of them. A lot of them are not educated in no form, shape or figure to do nothing about them. What they do. They can run their own business. But yet they don't want people who have sense to do it. They must say people attack them this and attack them that. Anyway, what I talk about is they need to do something about this rebellious act that is taking place with these all these riots. When I say where they riot for because they hear say, <coughs> they hear say the person who do the act wasn't none of them people they matter about. Yeah? The most likely and then own people do it. Yeah? I don't know where it come from, but and the man a Muslim. So these people need to clean up themselves and, and, and stop them foolishness. You know what I mean? I saw me out in my yard in the front over there and told the boy pass. I saw me have some good neighbors still and told the boy pass. We don't know what they must say, because they must chat be a shit, you know. Two little boy up on bicycle <coughs> and a chat here for free. But me know if you deal with people still. And people know that car. When me talk, then you can know what me mean when me talk. Anyway, me next one here, but the dinner in the living room. And he come like in that see what I go on. And my next one neighbor then run come out, then ride off. My next one neighbor say, What, Paul? Them two boys. Are they being racist to you? Because the man is furious, you know. 
I mean, say, no, man, them that go and chat them shit as usual, you know, because me not scared of them, me not afraid of them. I sound like a boy of them, you know, where they just have to make them look at you, man, and mix up in a certain things, and so nobody come deal with me. You better just ride off and go on, you know, and go, you know, and go enjoy on your life, you know, because they have a sense, eh? When you see the lion asleep, don't wake him. So you see, what go on all over the world in a full country with no ism and schism, don't bring it to certain people. You better just go and do one do. And just humble on yourself and thing, you know. So a lot of people is against it. A lot of English people is against what is going on. Yeah, based on all them talk. Because the government say people will get arrested which i've seen you know so since this thing happened people get sentenced already you know i saw english system the justice system right? and i wait and delay and put up and waste that people's money by going to court over and over like jamaica where you see this case put off till when and this case no no so you go less than one week time people get caught because the government are run up everybody to cctv and all kind of social media or something you know yeah and lock people gonna prison space of one week this thing start people get arrested already and get sentenced arrested in less than a week people get arrested just like and just catch them lock them up a jail today tomorrow then go on a court the judge say all right yeah i say where they involved you shouldn't involve this are foolishness you have blicked down police and they some take three years and you are nasty backside yeah and i saw the judge do and i saw if you go and them have more arrests in me yeah so i let her go on in england you know big r i o t I take place in England with some of the little lazy, workless people them who not have. You understand? Me understand when people come out and demonstrate about certain things. Because to me, in my eyes, certain things are fear. In my eyes, for true. Because you see, we are people with their work and we're not even entitled to certain type of benefits to make for life easier. Because the working people have to pay the taxes for make everything run. And in a fear, in a way where people just come from where they come from and they might get luxurious lifestyle. I get put up in a hotel, they might get this free, they might get that, they might get that, they might get that, and you there can't get it. So I understand the part of it still, but it doesn't call and need for the type of things that is taking place. Anyway, people, me just say me I share that one here with you. Yeah, so Mr. V just come out and just show you make two cup of coffee. Come either have one for a morning, but you don't, you know. You done, yeah. So she gonna make two coffee for me now. We can sit down on my table under a nice umbrella in the early morning sunshine and look at one another eye and say, darling, you know, say, I love you. And we done 20 odd years together and we are going to do 20 odd more years. So I tell people, say, I live till me all hundred and had, you know. Yes, I. I did some years ago. And I, and I tell Miss Fee, say, anyway, me ago, in terms of that. She have to come with me too, because any, we work hard and we do everything and make all of sacrifice for kids and all kind of something we need to enjoy it and for that God to make me enjoy it. Because as I always say, some people choose to live a certain way, but some people were chosen to live a certain way. Listen to me and listen to me good. Let me repeat. There are people who choose to live a certain way yeah them choose to live a certain way but there are people who were chosen so when you're chosen yeah you know the things that everything will manifest itself yeah anyway people as we said big up on yourself new subscribers big up and welcome all the old subscribers that have been supporting me for 10 years now that's some people think I don't see them in on YouTube but years now. Years now. Oh, you did 10 years and you're not 10,000 subscribers. But my people who know know the reason why. I mean, I live on YouTube every day because YouTube is not my main job and it's not my main source of income. So I have to pay more attention to the things that's profitable and um, more important to me. Maybe that's why. I celebrate 20 years wedding anniversary you now. So if I made a run back on YouTube, maybe me and Miss Lee will have to split up a long time. Because she said, I spend more time on YouTube and in your garden and blah, blah, blah. blah. You know what I think, sir? So, anyway, people, big up on yourself. As I said, job bless, no stress. Remember, I know one love. Enough love. Anything we have done, we have to do it to the best of our ability. 
the people. Remember me tell you now, you know. We have to wise up, we rise up. And last but not least, we have to educate, we elevate. But with all this war and thing and this rioting we are going on, Bob Marley they don't say it already still. Who know the Bob Marley song? Look at go sing it. See? Until the philosophy which holds one way superior and another inferior is finally discredited and abundant, demolished, dismantled. Until the color of a man or a woman skin is of no more significance than the color of the eyes there shall be rumors of wars pick up on yourself